drunk driving, yes, yeah, it's a, it's a really serious problem. Lives are being destroyed, and their families' lives are being destroyed by, by these awful accidents. We see all the time. The tragedy is, is, is staggering proportions. If people would just keep their drunk friends off the roads, it would help a lot. Most parents think they can protect their infants in a crash by holding them. But in a crash, as slow as 24 miles per hour, a baby equals 400 pounds of moving force. You can't hold back that much weight. There's only one safe place for an infant in a car, a child safety seat. I used to fly around quite a bit, you know. I took a lot of unnecessary chances on the highways. And I started racing, and uh, now I drive on the highways and I'm uh, extra cautious. Because uh, no one knows what they're doing half the time. You don't know what this guy's going to do with that one. On a track, there are a lot of men who spend a lot of time developing rules and uh, ways of safety. And uh, I find myself being very cautious on the highway. I don't have the urge to, to speed on the highway. People say racing is dangerous, but I'll take my chances on the track any day than on a highway. In September 1955, James Dean died while speeding along a California highway. He was unable to avoid hitting a car which had turned into his lane. A group of criminals are loose on our highways. They kill about a hundred innocent people a day. You see them at the office, in the supermarket, and at the local bar. And up to now, they've been getting away with murder. We're cracking down on drunk drivers in Pennsylvania. A convicted first offender will lose his license for a year. He'll pay at least $300 in fines and serve a two-day jail term. It's time to treat drunk driving like the crime it is.